My fellow Americans, it's been four years since the North Allegheny graduation class of 2009. You're probably wondering, who is the North Allegheny graduation class of 2009? And why should the American viewers give two shits? Well, our graduation class has accomplished so much that I'm personally inviting President Barack Obama to North Allegheny. But first, I want our president to hear about what our students have accomplished within that four-year period. We had North Allegheny football quarterback Mike Locke, John Carroll graduate. We had Evan Bellin, another John Carroll graduate. We had Penn, University of Penn graduates, Lauren LaPierre and Kevin Leu. We had Slippery Rock students currently enrolled at the alma mater that I'm about to return to next fall, like Kurt Reisner, Greg DeVertz, Jimmy Granger, Brittany Sturgis, Morgan Putzlocker, Brett David Schindler, you know, you name it, it's there. We have a lot more students. Grove City's Kristen Yealy. We've got the Big Ten Fab Five, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start with Michigan's Madison Micucci. Then we'll switch it up to Penn State, where David Gregory Masters currently attends. Then, Ian Connor Preston. Gotta give a shout out to Northwestern. Followed by Ohio State, the Ohio State University, home of Brian Hogue, former student council class president from 8th grade at Marshall Middle, the middle school for North Allegheny. N.A. Middle University. Yeah, I said that, Carson and Ingo Marr. I said that Marshall Middle is N.A. Middle U University. Let's continue. I mentioned... Nimish Talang. Did I mention him yet? Well, on a previous episode of the Colbert Report, Stephen Colbert mentioned that somebody at Oxford invented anti-racist pills. Just curious, Nimish. Was that you? Because if you accomplished that, congratulations. You really deserve a Nobel Peace Prize for achieving such an improbable feat. Doug Heckman, he founded Fortis Vodka. What is Fortis Vodka? It's absolutely the coolest vodka that I have never tasted in Pittsburgh. I've got a catchphrase for Fortis Vodka, and you're probably going to hate it, but I'm going to deliver it anyway. Fortis Vodka. Vodka for the victors. To the victor go the spoils. Please drink responsibly. We've got friends of mine that currently aren't living in Nash at North Allegheny, like Anthony Foltz and Tom Warblack. We got Caroline Torrey. I mentioned her already, I think. We've got Jackie Goff, Brooke Marie, Dominique Valentine, Rachel Pearl, Jackie Edwards, a bunch of other chicks that I can't get to. But finally, the other two people I would like to mention, make that three. Kyle Mark Ryan is exploring the City of Asylum at a Pittsburgh theater near you. It's your job to Google Kyle Mark Ryan, or Kyle Ryan, find out where that theater is, and get your tickets. I can't go because I'm grounded, and I'll tell you why in a second. But first, we have to get to two other students before I share a little bit more about myself and convince the President of the United States to come visit North Allegheny. Let's start off with two students at Live in Country Oak neighborhood. Make that three if you count Doug Healy, another good friend of mine, or his colleague, Chase Broussard, who currently attends Pittsburgh. The point is, these two individuals have accomplished impeccable feats. Should we start with Pat Moynihan or Dakota McCoy? That's what we need to decide, America. Pat Moynihan graduated from the University of Colorado. He's a business major, and he's founder, CEO of Alcohol Flush Reducer. And it's a product that I'd like to hear more about in a business presentation because I'm not the presenter of the product, so it's not my obligation to tell you how it works. And then we have Dakota McCoy. This is a person that has always stood out among her peers, whether it was her shitty SAT scores that got her into Yale or the Rhodes Scholar or the fact that she lost in the first round of the spelling bee in eighth grade. She always led by example, like Moynihan, and like so many other North Allegheny peers. Why am I delivering this message? Because I was the guy that didn't lead by example in high school. 
I was the guy that took my grades for granted. I was the guy that had a 1.4 GPA after my freshman year. I was the guy that had a 1.9 GPA. Now, I, then it went up to 2.2, then 2.5. And then I decided to go to community college for two years. In my second year, I got recruited to this company that shall remain nameless for legal purposes, even though they are a bunch of slime bags in Downers Grove, Chicago. The boss that shall remain nameless voted for Mitt Romney, even though he's from Chicago. But anyway, because I helped this company out in two years, I was able to leave the company, start my own website, and even though I'm currently a 22-year-old with Asperger's that currently still lives with his parents, I've been CEO of my own company, Draft Utopia, for the past seven months. And I've been honored to recruit students like Lisa Donovan, NYU, class of 2012, and Mark DeFiglia, who has really helped our site out, along with Zen Bliss and Jeff Nelson, one of our huge supporters, Cowpoat Radio Show. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to convince you, Barack Obama, that you need to visit the North Allegheny Senior High School, located in Perry Highway in Wexford, Pennsylvania. North Allegheny won three Whitfield titles, consecutive Whitfield titles, after our graduation class. Not when we graduated, after we graduated. So we continue to generate that talent by the load. Did I mention that Mazur served in the military? Dan Mazur. I feel like I've mentioned everybody. And if I left your name out, I apologize because there are too many names to acknowledge. But it's not about me. It's not about the North Alleg it's not about the North Allegheny class of 2009. It's not about Fortis Vodka. It's not about alcohol flush reducer. It's not about draft utopia. It's about our children. It's about the current North Allegheny school district. It's about the future of North Allegheny, the past, the present, and the future. And that is why I, Chris Ransom, Christopher Michael Ransom, 22 years old, still living with my parents, personally invite you, Barack Obama, your wife, your kids, whatever you want to do, down here to Wexford, Pennsylvania, our hometown, to visit North Allegheny. What do you say, Mr. President? Do it for the children. What would Mr. T say if you didn't do it for the children? He, would, he probably would have voted for Romney or have been highly disappointed in your leadership. Either way, I'd like you to consider this decision and thank you for listening to my 8 minutes and 10 seconds of random nonsense. I'm Chris Ransom, and I approve this message.